Shannon, on a scale of 1 to 10, how impressed were you last night with Lamar? Skip, I gave him a 6. I thought he was sensational on the last drive, but I thought Lamar made this game a lot closer than what it needed to be. He missed three throws in this game. He missed Duvernay down the middle. He overthrew him. He had to go on fourth down. That was a third down play, and he comes back. They got a great, uh, a great design, great play call, and he overshoots, I think the guy's Wallace. Wallace. Wallace on a fourth down play, missed mm -hmm. him wide open for a touchdown, and he, over, he overthrew the other guy, the guy that got intercepted. He was open, but he overthrew him for an interception. The Ravens, at worst case scenario, should be 4-1. and one. That's at the very worst case. I'm thinking it should be 5-0 and oh, because you shouldn't blow a 21-point lead in the fourth quarter, and you definitely shouldn't blow a 17-point lead, and these games are at home. All Lamar has to do, and that, that's my only critique of him, Skip, the inconsistency at throwing the football at times. I see him make a throw. They run a blitz. They drop Henderson in the zone. He throws the ball back shoulder behind, uh, uh, to uh, the big tight end, Mark Andrews. Mm -hmm. Great. I'm like, well, damn, how you see that? I didn't even see that. Lamar, how did you see that? Mm -hmm. And you see the throws that he makes, but then you see he has Duvernay wide open, and those are the throws that you can't miss, Skip. You can't miss a throw like that. And then if you get a reprieve, you definitely can't miss Wallace on a wide open fourth down. So I gave him a six. That last drive, he was Lamar. He was Lamar. Running the football, got down. Hit Mark Andrews. He did great things. If he could just clean up a little bit of the inconsistency throwing the football, Skip, this is going to be a very tough team to beat. Even though I gave him a six, I picked the Ravens to win this division. I'm going to stick with them. But they should at worst, they should be probably be 5-0 right now, Skip, if it's not for, and he has what? Four, he has four interceptions in his last three games. So for me, I'm going to ride it out, but is there anybody more clutch? Skip, I know what Ben and Terry did. And I know, but he ain't had a leg like this kid. Skip. Mm -mm. This kid is ridiculous. This is ridiculous. <laughs> Skip, I mean, I've, I've never seen I mean, they, like they tried the man out there for 58. I'm like, well, damn, Jim Harp, I'll be mean, John Harp, I'll be mean, boop. And he's just like, what he's, did you? He splits them. Yeah, like, yeah. like they're yeah, down Skip, it Broadway. It, it, it like, ain't no doink. It ain't no, you no. know, it's right down the middle, and the ball is so high, it is like, dude. And when he walked in, Cincinnati knew it, Skip. Mm. The moment Lamar got them in field goal range and they saw Tuck walk out down the field, uh, uh, the coach already called, hey, warm the buses up. We'll be there in about 30. That is correct. Because you already know what to get. getting. So now he's perfect. 23 for 23 on field goals in the last, four, uh, uh, last minute, fourth quarter of overtime. Mm -hmm. He's now made 61 straight field goals in the fourth quarter of a game. His last miss was in 2015. Mm. I trust that man foot more than I trust any quarterback's arm or any running back's leg. He's as close to automatic, and there's no such thing as a 100% skip, but boy, he is so, he likes all wipes. He's 99.9. Mm. It's why I tweeted immediately. <laughs> it's over. I, I, I would, I, I already, I tweeted it was over. <laughs> as, as soon as Lamar got the ball back, it's over. Yeah. Okay, I'm going to get to Justin Tucker in a minute because he, he deserves quarterback money, and I'm not kidding. I'm not yeah. kidding because all he does is win games. It's not fair. It's not right. I've railed against you don't field like goal. I, I hate field goal kick. I, I don't hate them personally. I hate it. It's a gimmicky way to decide <laughs> games played by ultimate warriors <laughs> like yourself who battle it out for 60, 59 minutes and 59 seconds. Yep. And some little non-player, because he can't play football, <laughs> he can just kick. Yep. But he can really kick. And I always say, I can't get the rule changed. So if I owned a team... I would prioritize it with a first-round pick, Justin Tucker, and I would pay him what what, what the, the the rate was to keep him a lifelong whoever team I I, I yeah. would want him for 20 years. Well, the, normally that's what happens, Skip. If you find a good one, they normally stay there for 10, 15 years. Well, well this think how many get. He's the ultimate weapon. It's like game over. It's like I don't have any doubt about him. I have doubt about him. Just about everybody it, else yeah. except this one. But the point is, let me go back to Lamar. Scale of 1 to 10, I, I'm just a big fan. I, I'm going to give him a 9. And I know he missed certainly those two throws and he threw the pick. But the first thing that got me on the Duvernay overthrow was if we could see it, he he breaks free past Von Bell, and he's got a step. Mm -hmm. and, and Lamar lets it go, and it's kind of an effortless flick. I swear he threw the ball 60 yards in the oh, air. Yeah. With oh, an yeah. effort. You, you want to talk about an yeah. arm? He, he's got an arm. Don't, don't tell me he doesn't have yeah. velocity and oh, yeah. distance. That's 60 yard throw because look where he throws it from. Know, he throws it from the 43. Yards. I was like, and the ball's four yards, yeah. four yards, two, okay. three, four yards deep in the So it was about a yard too far. Yeah. Okay. And he had a step, and, and you can't, to your point, 
over time, you can't miss many of those, but he missed that one. Right. I don't know. The the fourth down play, it, it's so open, it's too open. It, it's almost That's where like, you just stick it on his yeah. You don't try to be perfect. I, I mean, you can almost like underhand it yeah. to him, but but he tries to get too cute with it, too careful, too fine, as they say in baseball with it, and he just throws it a little too far. And and it was a killer because it would have broken the game over. Yeah, that, that, yeah. All right, so here comes Joe Burrow. I love Joe Burrow. Boom, 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 down the field, Jamar, Jamar, down the field, down right. the field. And all of a sudden, they're in striking distance. They're within a yard or two of scoring. And I'm thinking, if, if I'm the Bengals, I, I'm thinking I need to kill a play and kill some clock. I need to, to, to run a quarterback sneak and tell Joe, don't score. Right. Because if you give Justin Tucker, a, all, all they're going to need is three, right? Right. Okay, well, well don't do you you got to figure a way to burn some clock. Yeah, once but, they get to the 40, Skip, 60 yards is well within his range. Okay, so I, I'm thinking, should should Joe Burrow have kneeled or just sneaked and gone down one time? The problem with that idea is you're risking not scoring well, at, at all. all correct. Okay, because if you blow it then, if, if you wind <laughs> up with, with just third down or fourth down, right. and you can't get in the end zone, now you lose and the, the coach is all going to get fired correct. over this, yes. right? But the point was, they got the ball back with 158 left. It's way too much time. Yeah. Now Lamar is Lamar. Right. I tell you all the time, what I love about this young man the most is, you want to talk about high football character, you want to talk about gamer, this is when he is virtually unstoppable. And if he, it, he knows in his psyche, if they can stop my arm, they cannot stop my legs. Right. Under pressure, under fire. And the play of the game for me is the 19-yard run that he has. It, it's actually first and five because they had 12 right. men on the field. So it's first and five at the 45. We can see that this is the game over play. He runs the read option, and he goes up the middle. But this is just too good. He is so good in the open field. Look at him Skip. dancing and darting. Skip, he and, called him what they called they, yeah. they called him with a zone dog where yeah. they backed out, and so yep. now he hits the crease. He did. And that's what you that, – he's lucky he, he stumbled. They lucky he stumbled I over his own look, guy. I, I thought he was gone. If he doesn't stum uh, stumble over uh, a Duvernay. Hey, the, the acceleration is breathtaking. Mm -hmm. His ability to run the football, and, and again, it's damned if you do or don't. This is why the Ravens are saying, we can't guarantee you four or five years because we're not, we're not sure you can last four or five more years and do that. Right. Because you need occasionally to do that. Skip, they, had a they were up 10-0, and I really thought the Ravens were going to put the game away early. And they dilly-dallied around and incomplete here and an incomplete there and, and, and not doing what they were supposed to do, and they let the Bengals get right back in the And that's their problem. They were supposed to put – but I, 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 you see John, John Harbaugh is learning. He ain't go for them for that. You see he kick no field goals, Skip? Thank you. Because it was just the obvious – Yeah, you, you take the point. It's the obvious math at that point. You got to yeah. just take the points. Take the points. But Lamar, because he does believe in Lamar's guts – Lamar can turn to him and say, I got this. And yeah. John's like, okay, you got this. But but sometimes you have to say, I got yeah, this. Yeah, I got that. I got right? this. Because they're not going to fire Lamar. They'll fire you if you keep making blunders no, like that. I, I agree. But I, I thought, Skip, if he can – Skip, if he can – because yes, last night he was a 19 or 32, which is not a great – I mean, 179 yards. That's what all they needed. But, man, Skip, if he can just get a little more consistent with his legs yep. – And like you said – his arm is better than you think. It's, it's, it, he can throw the ball 60 yards effortless. Effortless. It's a flick of the wrist. Yes. 60 yards. And he, he and Mark Andrews' chemistry. Hey, when in doubt. <laughs> Mark down there somewhere. He's down there somewhere, and he will go get he it. He go get it. And, hey. and yet, once that 19-yard run happened, I just I was ready to turn the TV off because yeah. it's just done. Yeah, yeah, because now, now you you okay. you in tuck you in tuck terrain. Yeah, and and Lamar did have one third down and he converted that easily right. and it made a 46-yard field goal, a 43-yard right. field goal. Well, right. what does it matter? It could be a 58-yard field goal. Well, it doesn't he, matter. Yeah, he came, like I'm saying, he good. Skip, I would I would literally trust him. Game on the line from 60. So get the ball to the 40, and that that's a great that's a great advantage. That that that. Makes your offense, the quarterback job, your play calling job a lot easier. I don't have to be perfect. If I get the ball to the 50, I mean to the 40, 60, oh, he make that. Oh, I'm, I'm, I'm like, yeah. I know you don't have the sound up, but after the game on NBC, he spoke. Yeah. He's a rocket scientist. Yeah. He, he, he breaks it down. I was like, whoa. He, he put on a, a clinic on here's how it went through my head. Right. And it's like I can't deal with the emotion of the moment. He said, sure, I get butterflies, but... But I just go through my procedure, right. and then he's got to catch it and spin it away so right. that – and it was his first 
the, the holder's first game-winning hole. Right. And he broke it completely down. He's he's brilliant. And Skip, he's not a big kid. He's not a no. big – his leg – but if you look at him like, dude, he can't wear more than 180 pounds, Skip. If he weighs 180, he really think – but he got dynamite in his hey, – I mean, that ball booms hey, off his foot. God gave him a leg <laughs> yeah. that, that we've never seen before. Skip, we, like, when Janikowski kicked the ball, Janikowski was 250 pounds. Well, so you, so you expected just, him I, I to boom it. the ball. Yeah. You look at him and like – How's he kicking the ball 66 yards? How's he kicking the ball 60 yards with that kind of ease? Hey, he strikes it at the right at the right at the right spot every single time. But Janikowski time. was capable of kicking it 40 yards left or right. Uh, yeah, he yeah, was yeah, yeah, seriously. Yeah. Well, he had kid... that stolen. He had the stolen. You know, put that stolen. No, no, that's true. He had that stolen in that yeah, boot. No, he... That thing will launch it. Yep, oh, I got it. <laughs> but this kid is money. Yeah. I would yeah. pay him big money. Oh, they money. paid him. Yeah, he died for he and he yeah. deserved to be the highest. Oh. If some if a kicker came in and said, you know what, I want Justin Tucker money. I'm gonna throw him out. I'm gonna throw him out. I'm gonna no. get your butt yeah. out of my office. Yeah, you ain't no Justin no. Tucker. No. <laughs> well, guys, maybe even more impressive. He talked in that post-game interview with Melissa Stark about how he did not have a good warm-up, but once the game started, clutch as always. Yeah. All right. Thanks for watching, Undisputed fans. Subscribe here to get the very latest from Skip and Shannon. Plus, go watch a few segments from our other shows on FS1.